this is Expresso, your feel-good breakfast show. And speaking of feel-good, now elephants is the one species that's probably the most intelligent around. But like humans, they get themselves in a difficult situation and with the help of teamwork, they need to get them out of that situation. You have to see this, a remarkable story and totally splendid to watch. It's uh, an elephant calf that gets himself in a bit of a knot. In fact, he goes down a river in Kenya. Take a look. At the heart of the African wilderness in one of Kenya's largest conservancies in the Maasai Mara is Kacheche Camp, home to a massive population of wild elephants. For the elephants living here, life is good. But the only problem is they regularly have to cross the Iwaso Nero River, notorious for its strong currents. Being extremely deep in parts and with high banks, the river is never easy to cross, even for the adults. But having recently experienced a great deal of rainfall, the situation became precarious when a six-month-old calf attempted to cross, suddenly getting washed away with the current. As the calf is carried downstream, a female elephant, the calf's aunt, rushes towards him and just barely manages to grab onto him. But the crisis does not end there. The current flowing stronger, the calf's aunt holds on for dear life, attempting to push the calf from behind with her head and tail, but to no avail. At this stage, the calf faces a very real chance of drowning as he struggles to keep his face and trunk above water. The calf's mother, now realizing that her baby's life is in danger, rushes down to him and with the assistance of two other elephants, they finally manage to push the calf out of danger. Elephants are well known for their incredible memory and no doubt this little calf will hopefully remember his advanced swimming lesson for the rest of his days. Oh man, could have ended in heartache, but what an incredible moment to capture on video. And I'm sure someone who is equally as excited to see this kind of behavior being shared with the world is behavioral ecologist, Professor Justin O'Reilly. Um, Justin, are you there? I am indeed. Uh, very good morning, sir. Um, yeah, our whole studio here is on the verge of tears looking at that incredible video. First of all, that someone was able to capture that moment, but what does this say about the behavior of elephants? We know them to be hugely intelligent, but this shows a very different side, a huge um, ability for compassion. W what, are you, what are your thoughts after seeing a video like that? Yeah, it's fantastic footage. And, and of course, the, the main story here is that an extended family really added value to the, the life of one of the young group members. So that calf was in trouble and the mother made a call. She was clearly a young mother. She called out and it was wonderful to see the matriarch, who's the sort of female leader of the herd, turning around and responding and responding in a, in a much more savvy way than the mother did and therefore yeah, saving um, the, the elephant offspring, I'm quite sure of that. This almost seemed like they had a contingency plan, like they've dealt with this kind of emergency before. Um, you know, she snapped the orders and they got into line and they saved this little baby. What does this say to you as someone who studies um, the behavior of animals and, and certainly those higher functions that we humans love to attribute just to ourselves, what does this say to you about um, elephants' behavior? So um, I think what's, what's so important here is, is the value of an experienced female leader. So in essence, what, there's been clear communication, I'm in distress, and then there was, you know, no one else really got in her way. She went and actually dealt with it. I, I, it's hard to know how many times or whether she's ever done this before, but the fact that she approached the car from upstream was very illuminating because that obviously broke the current and enabled her to, to facilitate exiting it. So you're right. I mean, those are all sort of things that we think of as human, but <laughs> clearly elephants have a very high cognitive ability. Now, we've learned so much about them, but as um, the internet plays a role, as we develop closer relationships with animals, as we find new ways of covering their behavior, do you think we've still got more to learn about these incredible creatures? Without a shadow of doubt. I mean, it, wasn't, it was only about uh, five, six years ago that they discovered that elephants are communicating with infrasound, so making these deep rumbles which go down through their legs into the ground and are detected by other elephants miles away, kilometers away, which could not never would never be heard by normal auditory range. So elephants are communicating at a level that we don't even understand. And so we have a lot more to learn from them.
Now, lastly, if you can leave us with one thought, you know, in an era where so many of these species are in grave danger, this is the kind of message that we want to send to the world. What do you think this kind of coverage on platforms like YouTube is doing for these species that are so desperately in need of protection at the moment? I think it's, you know, we, we're always scared of anthropomorphizing, but sometimes we have to. We've got to show the, the soft family side of, uh, of an elephant herd. And that brings compassion. And with compassion we ca is the willingness to actually protect species like the elephant. And we're up against it. The first elephant has just been culled in, in the Kruger National Park. Not culled, sorry, poached. And wow. so it, the time is now. We need, to, we need South Africans to rally around elephants before they follow in the footsteps of the rhino. It certainly is a tipping point here in South Africa. Professor, thank you so much for your words there. Um, let's hope to see more of these videos surfacing. What a feel-good moment. Well, we're going to take a very quick break thanking Professor, um, or rather behavioural ecologist, Professor Justin O'Rear, and we're going to take a very quick break. You can soak that up, take it in, and hopefully that will inspire you for your Tuesday. Expresso continues in just a moment.